Welcome back to another video and well in today's episode we shall be fixing some issues. So uh, I've taken a small break from this series and I have quite a lot of videos on this and obviously a lot of people because of the break have caught up with the series, uh, basically finished what we have so far and found a few issues. Uh, it's not good that there are issues but it's very good that they have found them and reported those to me and uh, let me show you some of them. So for example this one has the issue when we are picking up an item which essentially would fill up our stack. So for example, if we would try to craft some planks. So I believe my maximum amount should be 10 for the stacking of the planks. So if we would craft planks, we get four like it should, removes one, gives us four planks. So again, eight planks. Now if we do this once more, you can see instead of being 10 and two, now it's 10 and four. If your max stack amount does match up and maybe if it's 12, this issue will not happen. But uh, since my maximum amount is 10 and I have two free slots, this issue is happening. And let me show you exactly what I mean by this. So if you would go to the add item to player slot function inside your character or your backpack, you might have to fix this. Uh, well, that might you probably need to fix this for both of, of them. So inside your character and inside your backpack. Now, if we would have a look at this function, what we essentially do is first we have a branch check, which basically checks whether the slot is empty. This doesn't matter. Uh, if it if it's not, it's, it's checking some other conditions. If it is, then it's trying to add items to the slot. And basically what it does over here, it takes the current amount. So let's say we have eight pieces in, in the slot. So we have eight planks and we are trying to add for more. So essentially this value then will be 12 and we are checking whether that value is smaller or equal to the maximum stack amount. Obviously it is false because the result of this is 12 but the maximum amount in my case was 10. So now this is false and then what we do is basically we set the first slot in which we tried to place the item to be at its maximum value so in our case 10. And then we are trying to uh, add the rest of the items uh, in a different new slot. But the thing is that at this point over here, when we go first, check this condition first for the first time, it's going to return us 12. But if we fill up the current slot, then at this point when we are removing the total amount uh, minus the max amount, at this point, this is already going to be 14. Because at that point, the current amount is 10, but the local adding amount is still 4. And this is actually a super, super, super simple fix. And all we want to do is basically swap these two nodes around. And that's basically it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to select these nodes. I'm going to move these down for now. And then I'm going to select these nodes right here and bring those to the back. Then let's reconnect the execution like so. And then let's bring these nodes in somewhere around here. And let's set our local item before we set our arrays element. So make sure you reconnect the execution pins, pins just like I have. And in the end, it should look something like this. And now this is going to fix the issue and the items are going to get added properly. It's going to remove the amount from the local item before we set the uh, stack amount, which is basically going to fix the issue that we had. Make sure you go to your backpack. And in your backpack, you have the, well, at least I have the add item to slot function, which had the same issue. As you can see, I've already swapped my nodes around. So inside my backpack, this issue will not happen again. It is going to be just fine. And yeah, basically, let me show you this once more. So if we would move the items in and two, uh, so four, eight, and now it is 10 and two. And now it is working the way it should. So the next issue that we are having is the fact that, well, other players can steal the backpack from one another. So if I would pick up a backpack on this character and then walk up with another one, as you can see, it says e press E to pick up. If I do, you can see the backpack jumps from him, jumps back to me, and this character still technically can see its contents. So now this is a really, really bad issue that, well, we need to solve. And the fix for this actually is super simple. So what we want to do first is go to our backpack master and got to make sure that the player variable is getting replicated. So the player's variable should be set to replicated. This is good. And now what we also want to do is bring in our player reference over here and we want to check whether this thing is valid. And we want to check this from the 
uh, is not valid from our backpack equip backpack check over here and then we can continue with the code that we had also from the the pin which says that it is not valid so basically if the player reference has not been set for this backpack then we are allowed to pick it up now but this is not good enough this is not all that we need to do because there is one more issue and the issue is that well we are running this in the local space uh, so technically server and other characters are not informed about the changes made for the variables that are living inside of this actor so what we need to do is go to our third person character where we have our interaction where we are picking up the items and all the other stuff and here what we want to do is instead of just simply running this interface directly we want to create a new custom event and i'm going to call this server pickup interaction now we got to make sure that this event is ran on server and then we need to copy our pickup interaction interface node let's connect the target and player so that we have these inputs available to us and then instead of just directly running this interface on true we want to run our server pickup interaction and just simply reconnect so the target goes to the bottom target and the player goes to the player and we can remove the old node and now this is going to fix us this issue so this is a really quick fix but well this is a really really annoying thing to have so let me load it so there it goes it loads so you can see i can't steal it from the server character and now like i always do make sure we test this from client to client as well so can't steal from the server and can't steal from the other player as you can see so this was a quick and easy fix as well and uh yeah thank you for watching and i see you in the next one